Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to Carthage Part 7. Here we are on the campaign map and as you remember we took Kotuba and we defeated the Syracus faction in this kind of region. We took Syracus itself and we have gained two provinces since this campaign has begun. Hannibal died but we have a new general called Badikos. Hopefully he can do well for us. Syracus at the moment, like us, gaining, actually gaining quite a bit at the moment with the population. Lilibayam is also gaining 19 plus 11 in the next turn. So we're doing okay there. Carthage uh, is also starting to gain 86 plus 1. Corralis is down, so we need to have a look at Corralis. We got. Slums being dismantled, that should help quite a lot actually. Uh, we're losing some squalor because of the fishmongers. I got another slum by here which I should probably dismantle if I can. I don't know if I got enough money. I don't have enough money. Um, I probably need to end turn then, I'd say. Oh, technology. Uh, wealth, agriculture, I'll do. So we'll end turn. And we'll see how things are going. It's been a while since I recorded my last part. I'm trying to space out my episodes now on my channel. When Rome came out, I was uploading videos every day. On a couple of occasions, I released two a day. But I'm very busy at the moment, so it's going to be difficult to get that many episodes uploaded. But what I will try to do is to space them out and record them wherever I am available. So if there's a couple of days on my channel where there's no videos, don't worry, because a video will pop up sooner or later. And how are you guys finding the latest patch from the Creative Assembly? This uh, current episode is running 1.5. I do have to say it's helping a little bit. Um, I'm getting slightly better frames per second on the campaign map and on the battle map as well I mean, when I'm in battle and it has allowed me to actually increase the graphical settings slightly. Uh, for, for this recording I've got everything on high but when I'm not recording I can play with a mixture of high and ultra which is pretty good because it, um, it makes the game look a bit better but I do have to say it's not as good as what Creative Assembly released in their promotional videos in their promotional campaign for the release of the game. Uh, you know, you only got to look back to last, uh, I think it was October or November, the Siege of Carthage video. I can't get it to look like that at all. I don't think anybody can get it to look like that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not optimised very well. So, that's what we want. we want. We want the bugs to be fixed. We want the game to be optimised and then perhaps a couple of the features tweaked or removed or added. I think it'll be a great game, but the problem is uh, it's a bit disappointing when oh, well it's a bit disappointing when this kind of thing happens. Uh, we've been besieged by Syracus. I'm not going to even bother fighting them or to resolve this one. We we'll go with an aggressive stance, and that will wipe them out surely. Yes, here they go. Syracus eliminated from the factions page. Uh, we'll enslave them. I'm not quite sure how the enslave option works. Food shortage in Africa. That's not good, right? We'll go to Carthage straight away. We need food. We desperately need food. How do we get more food? That's the question. I got slums in Africa as well. Ah, this is taking up. Slums is giving me minus six for food. That would answer a lot of my questions. I cannot demolish. Demolish, that's a shame. Can I actually remove a unit? Be praised. I could probably remove this band. That doesn't give me any more income this turn. I need to. Carthage is quite happy with me at the moment, but there's a food shortage. As you can see, I got minus two overall for my faction, which isn't good. I'm a bit weary of Rome at the moment. 
the Etruscans are still alive, but only just. They've got Alal Alia here in this region, and they've been besieged. So unfortunately, the Romans are going to take that, and they're soon probably going to be looking to wage war with me, which we don't want. Let's move my spy towards Cosentia. Might be an easy target. If I can take Cosentia and then Brundisium. I will have this whole province under my banner. I'm not going to worry about that for the moment, though. I want to concentrate on this region. I do believe I got a spy somewhere. I do have a spy somewhere, I think. Where is he? Is that my spy? No. Uh, provinces, factions, forces. Jezebel, where are you? Oh, there. There's my spy, Jezebel. Let's bring her up. Basically, my plan, I think I announced this in the last Carthage part, my plan is to get my spy into Spain, into this kind of region, because I think if I can get an alliance with the Lusitani, uh, unfortunately they're under siege, but if I could get an alliance with them, I could perhaps team up and take Ebora giving me a bit more of a foothold in Portugal and Iberia. So that's the essential thinking there. Ah, oh, I've got so many slums. I can actually expand this city, which which I will do. I'm going to expand Carter Dash. Look at this. Expand. Make it a bigger settlement. Gives me more uh, building slots. So I don't think we're at war with anybody at the moment. Uh, let's try diplomacy. See if we can get something. Well, just the slaves. We're just at war with the slaves. But we have Nova Carthago and Libya as our allies. So all of the south is looking pretty good. We need to keep them as allies. It's, it's very important we keep them as allies. Um, who else likes us? The Etruscans like us. I'm afraid that that may come to an end when they get wiped out. Sparta. Everyone hates us apart from these three. Um, the Etruscans are going to be defeated before long anyway. I would very much like to get some sort of alliance with Sparta but that's not going to happen anytime soon I don't think. I wonder if Athens will trade with us. I am honoured to receive this embassy and will listen with interest uh, to all you have to say. No, nope. I hate diplomacy on this game. It's one of the things I hate the most. Can't seem to get trade with anybody. So hard. Uh, I'm gonna wait another turn then, so I can actually get rid of the slums in. Oh, Barricos, where's Barricos? Barricos, Barricos, Barricos. There he is. What's he got? Um, oops. Cunning, authority, zeal. We we'll go with zeal. I'll do. So basically, I'm gonna wait until I get 500 in money and then I can actually remove the slums in Carthage. Oh what's Rome doing? Oh I don't like the look at this. Oh Rome what are you doing to me? Please don't wage war. Give me an, at least another few turns. Um, like I was saying 500 if I get 500 coins, 500 gold, I don't know what they actually call it in this game. Denari, yes I want Denari. If I can get 500 Denari now in this next turn, I can remove the slums in Carthage, and that should improve my food. Uh, the Etruscans are going to be wiped out. Rome is looking very strong at the moment. So many provinces to take out. I could cripple them, mind. If I stacked up an army and just marched there. But I'd like to get a couple of big stacks at the moment. to kind of repel the Romans. I don't have that many armies. My plan was to take Iberia, so take Spain and Portugal, so I'd have a kind of power base and I could start funneling troops from that peninsula across the Mediterranean, just like Hannibal did. That was my kind of plan. Try and stay allies with Nova Carthago and Libya and then eventually uh, attack Rome and take the Roman provinces. 
and build up a Mediterranean superpower with Carthage. Just hope that the Romans don't actually declare war on me for at least another four or five turns. Just to give me a chance to build up some of my provinces a bit more, get a bit more wealth. Because wealth equals army, army equals victory. So here we are, attrition. Uh, food shortage, we know about that. Slums, oh, where's that gone? Oh, more slums. This is one thing I really, really hate with this game. Slums. Slums and diplomacy. See, I got enough to dismantle this one. And that will help the food shortage, because it'll remove the minus four penalty for the slums. Now, I don't... Look at this, minus 10 plus minus 9, I don't, I just removed slums a minute ago. And it's going to cost me 500 again, which I haven't got, so I can't do anything about that. I could How can I serve build up a couple of units here. Mob, let me go with the, I've only got enough for one unit of javelin men. Looks like we got some kind of, uh, I'd say flu, not flu, uh, like the Black Death. Plague. We've got Plague in Carter Dash. Uh, where's my spy gone? I've lost my spy again. I keep losing my spy all the time. Zoom out. Uh, over here. I don't know where my spy's gone. Anyway, back to the campaign. And the Etruscans have got a fleet here. Looks like they may be mustering a few forces. I could march over to Consentia and take that. I think I might actually do that. There doesn't, doesn't appear to be an army there. Let's take my spy over here. I'm actually going to find out who Rome's get, uh, at war with, so if we can go to diplomacy again. They're at war with Epirus as well, which is why... Be welcome! But may Athena strike us all dumb if we I will offer to join the war with Rome, which has got a high chance of success. I've already got trade with these guys. What about military alliance? That's low. Which is a shame. Defensive alliance is low. Non-aggression pact is high, which is great. Um I wish we were military allies actually. Okay, war blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't mind some pay. That's low. Uh, we'll go for a thousand. Low. Okay. But the good news is that we can actually do some diplomacy with them. Now, I need to work out if these guys will, will still like me if I move this large army out. My lord. They're pretty happy. That's good news for me. Um, this force Carter? needs some more men. I can't rely on just javelin men to win battles. But the problem is I can't afford any more troops. I could probably... I mean, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see. If we get rid of 1, get rid of 2. We don't need them. That would free up a bit more money. And then I'm thinking we merge... Some of these units. So I'll do the same now with all these. So I've merged most of them. I just got one unit which isn't full. But I still got six units of javelin men and three hoplites, plus my general with an elephant, which is pretty good. And we could of course get some of these, but I don't have the money as I've just mentioned. Which is a shame, but I'm going to move we fight my general you, my to the border. I think war will be imminent now. Command, my lord. Illibium is okay. I keep my ships here for now. I live to serve the mighty Carthage. Because the ships nearby, and we got my general as well. So I think that's my plans for this ne next episode. Now we will be waging war with the Romans, and actually, what's happened over here? Brundisium. Is being besieged by Epirus, which would be fantastic if they took that. I could take Cosentium when they're not looking. They're going to be concentrated on Epirus over there. I could march this army, and I could probably march this army now and take Cosentia. 
which I think I'm probably in a good enough position to actually do. So let's go into diplomacy. I'm going to offer Epirus a deal they cannot refuse. For the sake of friendship that has been and friendship well, they to might come, refuse. greetings. Now, let us seek wisdom together. Oh, I don't want to give one then. No, <laughs> join war against Rome. Uh, what was the one I clicked on earlier? Was it military access? I don't think it was. Defensive alliance. Nope, it wasn't that one either. It was a non-aggression pact. So yes, I offered to do that, a non-aggression pact. Bingo, we're at war with Rome. Thank you very much. I might regret this. War target available. Brilliant. That's what I wanted. Right then, my general is going to march on Consentia. When he can. I think we're good enough to take Consentia with our current force, even though we're lacking a little bit of infantry. I'm just going to have to rely on my ranged units. So while they... While Epirus... Epirus do have another province. Larissa. While Epirus tried to take Brundisium, they have four units besieging it. I do fear for them. The Romans have more men. But while they're distracted, I can try and march on Consentia, which is reasonably undefended. I got my ship to defend Dilibayam. They have five ships. I do have five as well. Plus my war elephants as well. Coralis is re reasonably undefended, which means I'm going to need a couple of ships for the future. So that's the plan in that part of the campaign map. Um, I do have a general somewhere. Nope, there she is. Not a general, a spy. So bring this girl up here. Jezebel, lovely name. Lovely lady, I imagine. We should bring Jezebel over here, and she is actually going to be going towards Ebora, because I want to take this kind of province to give myself all of the south, apart from Ars, <laughs> or one could do with a good Ars, but I'm not going to take that, because as you can see, the Cantabri have expanded, they hold both these provinces, they might even hold one up here as well, so we have to be careful of the Cantabri, but they are my plans for the next episode, so we're at war with Rome, finally. I've been Dragonheart, hope you've enjoyed this episode, until next time, goodbye.